BMAC, you let out an audible laugh when uh, when when Anthony <laughs> called when Anthony called the Bills the big dogs of the AFC East. So my next question to you, gentlemen, and BMAC, I'll start with you. The Bills draft, the Bills off season. Do the Buffalo Bills scare you this year as a New England Patriots fan? Yeah, of course. I, I think the Bills are a really good football team. My audible laugh is Anthony saying that the top dogs of the division. I mean, yeah, you won the division. I think the Bills are a really good team. Um, but let's pump the brakes. Top dogs of the division <laughs> goes to the team that's won it 19 of the last 20 years. You know, let's you're not first, you're last, man. Oh, I I <laughs> totally agree. But I mean, let's a team wins one time. They're top dogs of the division. I will. We'll and I can say because we've we'll been last a majority of those 20 years. Uh, well, He's right. Think, when we're not first. Think last. You have a really good chance of staying there, Anthony. I'll give you that. Oh, come on now. <laughs> come on now. <laughs> well, like I, like you said, it, an honest analysis is the Jets need to be patient because the other yeah. three teams are in a situation where they're built to currently try and win. And I will I say Tua and long. the Dolphins are going to get a second place mm -hmm. schedule. Uh, what, the uh, Dolphins, I think, are not quite as good as they were last year. I think their defense takes a step back. Their offense is better than it was. Uh, the Patriots are a lot better than they were last year. I would agree with um, that. Yeah. But what do you I, say? I think to, the, Bills are, the Bills are the team to beat. Like, don't get me wrong. What, what do you what do you say to a guy like John Herring who says, Hey, you're not living in the Tom Brady era anymore? You have Cam Newton and a rookie in Mac Jones at quarterback. Like, as good as your defense is. Do you have confidence in those two signal callers to put you over the top of the guy who was runner up for MVP last season in Josh Allen? Yeah, I think a guy like John Herring probably spent the last seven years saying that it wasn't Brady that was doing it and he was overrated and it was a system. And now he's telling me we can't win because Brady's gone. But <laughs> uh, so I'll let him have that and we'll see how how it plays out. Uh, but the way the Patriots roster is built is the way you win football in this league. Yeah, you you do need a quarterback to win. But they have a top five offensive line, and I think they have a top five defense. And the way you remain consistent and in every game and able to compete at every level every season is, is with that. A consistent offensive line and a solid defense. And I think they've built that. Um, and, and like I said, I, they, were, they were a mediocre football team that was in almost every game last year with one of the worst rosters, probably the worst offensive roster in the entire league. Uh, they're vastly improved from that. Uh, and last year's schedule, you guys can can vouch for too. It's incredible the record you guys were able to get. Last year's schedule was crazy for everyone in the AFC East, especially mm -hmm. coming off the year before that was an absolute cakewalk. Like playing the NFC East and then playing the NFC West is a huge difference. Um, this year is a little more reasonable uh, and for the Patriots, finally not playing a first place schedule. Uh, but I, I do think this is going to be a battle for this division. I don't think you're running away with it this year. Um, I, I don't, I think the jets are, are clearly the worst team in the division, but that's not, <laughs> that's not saying that the jets aren't doing the right thing. Oh it's, no, I hear you. I hear you. you no, know, they have saying. to play a longer game. The other three teams yeah. were on the brink last year. I mean, the Patriots were obviously, falling backwards, but because of their cap situation, they were able to take a huge advantage of everyone else being stuck where they couldn't sign anybody. Um, and the Patriots being able to get a lot of value that they otherwise wouldn't normally do. Um, yeah. I mean, the Patriots, it definitely comes down to the QB position, whether Cam Newton can play or not, whether he's improved from last year uh, is an interesting question. I don't know. I mean, he still mm -hmm. is, he, he is a guy who won an MVP and he, he does have a lot of talent. It's just his throwing was absolutely atrocious. And I don't know if that's something you yeah. can fix or not. Uh, yeah. And if, if, if he has to fix it, then we move to Mac Jones mm -hmm. and see how that goes. But I do think the rest of the roster can win football games anyways. So we got David King coming in here saying Buffalo, Miami Patriots Jets. So let's get to it, gents. Uh, Anthony, I'll start with you. What is your, uh, what is your record prediction for the New York Jets this year? How do you foresee with your crystal ball the season playing out for the New York Jets? Well, there's a there's a lot more optimism than there's been in years in years past. I mean, you just get that normal like excitement. When you guys got Allen, I'm sure there's a bit of an excitement because yeah. you got a new quarterback coming in and you don't know what he's going to be and could it be the guy? Um, and you know, nine, eight or nine, I want to say it was nine rookie quarterbacks have made the playoffs since 2008. 
you know, and there's not, they're not all studs. I mean, there's some guys like, you know, Dalton was great in his early career, but there's some RG threes thrown in there as well. Um, so it's not out of the question that a rookie quarterback could be Mac Jones, B Mac, that a rookie quarterback takes a team to the playoffs. You throw in the fact that we got a rookie head coach, uh, rookie coaches in the playoffs has happened more than we think too. There's been nine of those since just 20, 2016. One of them was the Buffalo bills with of course, Sean McDermott in the rookie quarterback coach pairing is even more, you know, special. Uh, but we've seen that happen, happen with the jets. It happened with Rex Ryan and, you know, Mark, uh, you know, and then Mark, uh, Sanchez, you know, before he kind of fell off a cliff, but it's not out of the question that we could see a huge turnaround this year. So I'm not, you know, I realize people think I got my green colored glasses on, but <laughs> it's the NFL. Like nobody, if you told me that the Miami Dolphins were going to win 10 games last year, it's in this time, the previous year, I would we would all would have laughed our heads off. And the Dolphins won 10 games and almost made the playoffs. Uh, so it's not out of the question. It's, it's the NFL. A couple injuries happen, bang, bang, team gets hot. With that being said, an improvement for us, <laughs> you know, we, we almost went winless last year. Uh, and I kind of wish we did. Uh, we would have got, we would have got Trevor Lawrence, but we got Zach Wilson. Now I think seven and 10 is a reasonable expect expectation. And that's a big leap from two wins. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think we're going to see early season struggles, late season surge, a lot of good feelings building up for the following season, which I think will be where Salah makes his money is, Another offseason, another draft. Can we make this push? I know Niners, when they did the shift with Shanahan, it, the first year was rough. The next year was big. Mm-hmm. Um, so seven and 10 is my crystal ball prediction, which Vegas has them at six and a half. So I B-Mac, I'll be hitting you seven, up soon about the seven, uh, over under. There's 17 games now. There's 17 games. The 17 games. game record right. thing sounds so weird every time you say <laughs> it. It's weird I don't like it. Eight and nine. I, that's why I didn't go eight and nine. Because it's weird I got to tell you, I don't, I don't like it. I, I wanted yeah. to stay at 16. Personally, Same. I didn't need the I didn't need the extra game. I like the even number, but hey. Yeah, and Alvin and Alvin Kamara doesn't like it either. He was very he was very <laughs> vocal about it. Screws um, up all the records too. Everyone's gonna just explode yeah. every record, but but uh, so seven and seven and ten. I guess that's you know a good year. But. Vmac, what what is your prediction for the Patriots this year? Uh, I th- I think I would put it. I would put it now. either eleven and six or twelve and five. In, in that window, uh, I'm going to go 12 and five. Um, yeah, I, I think that's fair. You it's, think that wins you the division? You getting it back? Yeah, I think it does. Ooh, I, I think uh, ooh, ooh. I think that puts it at about a tie for the division, and uh, we'll we'll steal it from you. All right, well, I love that. Newton won't fumble going in. Ryan in Buffalo this year. Ryan, Ryan Teal coming in and said, what do you guys think about uh, Trubilski? Let's you know, do Josh it. Josh Allen uh, gets, okay. listen, all, all I'm going to say is, all I'm going to say is a couple of years ago, Carson Wentz went down late in the season after he started off hot and, and Mitch or, uh, uh, you know, Nick Foles came in and won the Philadelphia Eagles a damn Super Bowl and they t- took over those uh, New England Patriots. So maybe, maybe we got some Trubilski magic here. There's not a lot of teams that can boast that they have the runner up for the MVP and then the nickelodeon's most valuable player as well <laughs> not many teams can boast that so someone's gonna get slimed if he's if he's playing quarterback i'll tell you that your All comment right. section got awful cocky in one year i'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> awful we've cocky. been dude we've been this cocky we've been this cocky we were this cocky in the middle of a 17 year playoff drought i, I know I, I, I know i'm friends with a lot heading, of Bill Cam. He, he, heading into a season with like thad lewis and jeff tools our starting quarterback Look, we still think we haven't we haven't had a nice we haven't had a nice uh good quarterback here for a while so it's like we, we like to appreciate you know, we're, we're, yeah. we're, we're, we're maybe we're over appreciating it. A little yeah. bit, but, uh, <laughs> well, you guys got a stud. I mean, you guys, yeah. you guys, oh, got, like, you guys got a stud. There, there are a number of stop, like, uh, trying to lateral and shit, but yeah. I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to go as Dude, far to say it's like, ago. Anyway, uh, I will say any, be, other, quarter, any, other, that, any other quarterback does that. If Lamar Jackson did that, if Patrick Mahomes did that, everyone would be saying like, what a fucking baller. That guy's got so much heart. He never gives up on a play. Josh Allen does it. And he's a fucking moron. He has a little like, too much. Not give up on a play though. A little too much. <laughs> you're so right. I will say, you're so right though. Uh, yeah. What, yeah. what I, I will say I to don't be, disagree, but what I will say to B Mac about the, the division thing. Right. And he's right. Like over the, the body of work over the last 20 years, the Pats, but like, there's always like, like, uh, like Anthony was saying, like every year is new in the NFL. Every year is different. So like you're only like last year really doesn't matter either now at this point. So it's like 
the Bills got to go out and win this division again. I think that every team in the division is going to be better chasing the Bills down. There's no doubt about it. All te- all three teams in the AFC East, other than outside the Bills, like all teams I thought had a good draft, but the Jets, Dolphins, and P- Pats mm-hmm. all had good drafts. I thought the Pats had a you know good free agent period. The Jets, you know, did some things in free- like they all got better, right? It's not. I mean. I think things broke very well for the bills last year. I think they still have the best roster and I think they still have the best quarterback, um, but they still have to go out and do it again. Right. They have to show that they can do it again. So, and we'll see. And, and I will say like, cause Randy Harmon says, come on, uh, tell me what was the effect of, the, uh, of that ladder on the final outcome. I will say that your Patriots did actually beat us in that wild card game two years ago because it was the referees on that Cody Ford play that really cost us the game. So the Patriots, the, who are who also own the referees cost us that game. <laughs> <laughs> That's that one's classic too. I mean, I we had could, to, we could go that wasn't a good joke because I had to explain it. That wasn't a good ref, joke. No one pays attention to those. But. Well, and now you got your, and now you got your boy Mac. Who I mean, if there's ever yeah. a guy that's gonna. <laughs> That's going to be the like the guy everyone hates. It's going to be Mac Jones. Yeah. For oh, sure. for sure. Uh, so, for sure. gentlemen, just tell, people got to be careful getting too cocky over one. Great uh, I'm year. with you, B Mac. I, 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 I am. I kind of, I'm kind of with you. Like, like I, you I don't want to be over cocky. Like, well, we, like we still got to go out and do it. <laughs> this league, with, with the way each year is its own year, mm-hmm. talk to Jacksonville fans three years ago who were 13 mm-hmm. and three and playing the AFC championship game. Where are they now? <laughs> Put that juju talk on right now. Atlanta but here's fans. the thing. <laughs> Talk to Atlanta fans from, from the Super Bowl year. Those teams thought they were at the start of their dynasty, and it's mm-hmm. gone in a blink. We also just saw it happen this past year because the San Francisco 49ers got hit with injuries in their I'm team. Saying, don't, Atlanta, don't because- Al- Al- Atlanta's a good one because they had the franchise quarterback, and then they came back well back to earth. Jacksonville had that historic defense with Blake yep. Bortles at quarterback, and, and mm-hmm. I always say it's much harder to sustain a top – level defense than it is a top level level sure. offense when you have a star quarterback. So, you know, the Bills defense definitely took a step back last year. So if the Bills mm-hmm. defense can take a step back in the right direction this year, then maybe they can they can be better than they were last year. So like there's a lot of variables. I think that all the teams are better. I think it's going to be I don't think it's going to be a, a cakewalk for the Bills to win the division. I still think they should and they should win it based on who they have. And basically, they have a quarterback, but there's no guarantee that they will. Like, they, they need to go out and do it. Yeah, yeah.